Hi, Helene Gidley, The Art of Agile Living, and might I even say The Art and the Power of Agile Living. Um, these practices are helping everyone get a better handle on their days and on all the work that they've got on their to-do lists. And one of the things I want to talk about today is um, keeping track of things that you're waiting on. I call them my outstanding items. And these are the kinds of things where maybe you've asked someone else a question. Maybe you're trying to get a dinner date uh, arranged with some friends and you're waiting to hear back from two or three people. And you know maybe you've got um, a letter out in the mail and you're waiting to hear back from that. Um, you know, you've got inquiries that are out to potential clients um, or vendors and you want to hear back from them as well and you want to keep track of that. And I found once I have more than two or three things that I'm waiting on, I start to lose track of those and that's how things can fall off my plate, right? And that's how I can wind up weeks down the line and find out that, oh my gosh, now I'm late on something because I never got that feedback. So I call this my outstanding items and I keep track of it with this in this method on a single three by three sticky that I put at the top right corner of my daily sheet and I move it every day to the next daily sheet. And I, I keep that just as a list of what things are that I'm waiting on. And as I hear back, I'll cross them out and yes, over time, I wind up having to create a new list as I get more crossed out items and I don't have room for new items that I'm waiting on. But this is my way of keeping track of those items right in my forefront so I can see it every day and see if I need to have a little tickler out there. Um, not everybody does this maliciously, right? That they just forget that you have asked them for something. So sometimes I'll just do a gentle gee, uh, when might you be able to get me this information? And more often than not, people are very appreciative of that little tickler because indeed they probably did forget about it or it just hasn't bubbled up to their to-do list yet. Now, I was talking with a friend, Jenna, the other day about her method for um, keeping track of outstanding items. She's been following the Art of Agile Living for a few years now. And she says, oh, she doesn't bother with the outstanding items little list, what she uses is she creates a little tickler reminder that the that she then schedules throughout her week or upcoming weeks. So if she's waiting on something for someone, she'll immediately write a little reminder of um, you know, check back with Tom on, you know, feedback for the the client meeting. And um, she'll then schedule it where it needs to be scheduled. And that's her way of managing it. I say, great, use what works for you, right? Do more of what works, less of what doesn't. For me, I like that single sheet that is just there and easy to, to manage um, right at the top of my sheet. And I do uh, keep track of, if I do send out ticklers, I'll even put a little note on it. Like when I sent that tickler, you know, email on, you know, 9-21-23, so that I'm, I keep track of uh, how many times I'm bugging them. <laughs> um, but I do it always in a gentle fashion, never accusatory because life happens. Um, but that's what I wanted to share with you, the outstanding items. Now, for those of you who have a project management background, you might refer, you might recognize this as dependencies. And this is one way that I try to keep those dependencies um, uh, at my forefront so that I know what I'm waiting on. Um, without focusing too much on it and making it feel onerous or weighted. But those are my tips for you on keeping track of those things where you're just like waiting for imp input from others. May you have a great rest of your day and week and more power to the art and power of agile living for you. Thanks for listening. And